Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to one-click root the Verizon Galaxy S3. This is a one-click root application. Uh, the previous method that I showed you guys included an Odin file. That's not optimal for everybody and in fact it's not going to work if you accept the over-the-air upgrade that just came out recently so you'll need to know how to use the debug FS root method. Uh, so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So first of all you want to go to your applications, you go into settings and scroll all the way down to developer options you'll select the USB debugging uh, go ahead and make sure that that is checked and then you'll go back and you'll go into security and be sure that um, unknown sources is checked as well. This script is going to install super user APK so you need to make sure that unknown sources is checked and then we'll go ahead and uh, plug up our USB cable. So we'll plug that up like so and set this to the side. Okay, so you want to grab the root method from the file in the description and extract that to your desktop. And you'll just double click this root debug FS. It's gonna open up the script. Now what you wanna do first is just click root so we'll go one root and we'll say Y for yes and press any key to continue uh, make sure that unknown sources is checked and that your USB debugging is checked so we've already done that we'll go ahead and continue uh, so that your device will reboot three or four times during the process be patient and leave it plugged in until it has finished if it is not completed in 15 minutes something has probably gone wrong so we'll go ahead and press any key to continue And so it's doing its thing. Now we're going to let it reboot three or four times. Just press any key to continue. And then it rebooted the phone. Okay, testing super user. This is VID and GID should be both zero, are they? We'll just say yes. Uh, UID and GID are both zero, so we're going to say yes. And hit enter. It says that once the Galaxy S3 reboots, reboots one last time, it will be rooted. So we will check that out. So go ahead and unplug this. So we should have super user installed and we should be rooted. So we will check that out. There's our super user. So now we'll look for root checker, verify the root access. And we'll allow root access. So now we are rooted. Congratulations device has root access. Uh, so that is a simple, easy method, a whole lot easier than the Odin method for rooting the Verizon Galaxy S3. Uh, you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. I do pretty re regular giveaways, like this week I'm giving away a Galaxy S3 case, so you want to be sure that you're following for that. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy S3 and other devices. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it's helped you in any way. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you in the next one.